This is section 3.7, chain rule. And in this video, we're going to go through an example of a problem that's really similar to number 84 in your book. So this problem asks us to calculate the derivative of each of these parts at the value x equals 0. It gives us all these values of the functions and their derivatives. All right, so the first time you look at this problem, it probably looks really tricky. I'm not entirely sure how to approach it. But hopefully, after we go through this example, it'll become a lot more clear on how to uh, solve this type of problem. All right, so starting with part A, it gives us the function f of x to the fourth power. So remember, this section is about chain rule, and chain rule tells us to start with the outermost function, calculate that derivative, and then multiply it by each inside function's derivative. Okay, so step one with this, I'm going to identify what my outermost function is. My outermost function is just this thing raised to the fourth power. All right, now I go inside. Uh, my inside function is just f of x. And actually, in this problem, I have an even inner side function. <laughs> my inside most function is just this value, x. All right. And so remember, chain rule says start with the outside, ca um, calculate the derivative, multiply the derivative of each inside function. OK, so my outside function is something raised to the fourth. To find that derivative, I just bring my exponent down. And it becomes 4 times f of x raised to the third. Subtract one from the exponent. All right, now I'm going to multiply that by this inside function's derivative. The derivative of f of x is just f prime of x. And now I multiply that by the derivative of this inside function, the innermost function. The derivative of x, I'll just say, is x prime. OK, and from here, I can just plug in all the value that they gave me. So for here, I have 4 times f of x. They told me f of 0 is minus 1 cubed times f prime of x, they told me f prime of 0 is 2, times x prime, remember the derivative of x is just 1. And now I simplify this a little bit, 4 times minus 1 cubed is going to leave me with minus 4 times 2, this will become minus 8. And that's the answer for part A. Moving on to part B, I'm going to do the same uh, strategy. I'm first going to identify my outside function, then find the inside function, then plug in all my values. OK, so part B gives me f of 4x. My outside function here is just f of whatever the inside part is. And my inside function is just this 4x part. All right, so using chain rule, the derivative of this function becomes f prime of whatever that inside is times the derivative of 4x. All right, and from here, I can just plug in my values again. So I have f prime of 4x. Remember, I'm plugging in 0 for x, so this becomes f prime of 0. f prime of 0, they told me, was 2 times the derivative of 4x. That just becomes 4. And 2 times 4 gives me positive 8. That's the answer for this derivative for part B. OK, moving on to part C. Part C is a little bit more involved. It gives me f of 3x times h of 2x. So looking at this function here, I see that I have two functions being multiplied by each other. So I'm going to have to use product rule. And within that product rule, I'll have to use my chain rule as well. OK, so remember, product rule tells me to take the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. All right, so let's go through that. So I have my first function, which is just f of 3x times my derivative of the second function. Remember, I'll have to use chain rule. So my outermost function here is just h of 2x. So the derivative of that is h prime of 2x times the inside function, 2x. The derivative of 2x is just 2x prime. Plus, now I'm going to um, continue my product rule. I have the second times the derivative of the first. And again, the derivative of f of 3x, my outermost function, is f of 3x. So the derivative is f prime of 3x times the derivative of the inside is just 3x prime. All right, now I simplify some things, plug in my values. Over here, I have f of 3 times 0, or f of 0, which is minus 1, times h prime of 0 is 6, times 2x prime, that'll just be 2, plus h of 2x, that becomes h of 0, which is minus 4, times f prime of 0, is 2 times 3x prime. That'll just leave me with 3. All right, and let's simplify this a little bit more. Over here, I have minus 1 times 12. That's negative 12. Plus, over here, I have minus 4 times 6. That'll leave me with minus 12x. 
24. Add this together and I get negative 36 as my final answer. All right, this problem was a little tricky, but hopefully as we went through it step by step, it makes a lot more sense and is a lot easier to understand.